how it changed, but the main thing seems to be fame. Yeah, we all in the same. Yeah, we all tend to change. Like some life, yeah, we hear. It's weird that we fear. Drink another beer for our beers near our ears. Yeah, we focus on the truth and live through the pain. We bottle up emotions and we feel everything. We only have our hope and we lose everything. We gotta have hope in decisions that we bring. Hey everybody, Joshua Berto here. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the tools we're going to use today. We have a job in San Diego, California this morning. Uh, we're about an hour away. That's about as far as we want to go. Um, when I started my business, I actually had a pretty big, uh, broad area that I like to do because I was trying to start and I would run everywhere. Uh, what I learned was is that it actually cost you in the long run when you get busy. So you want to make sure to try to stay local at the beginning and just make sure that you just keep pressing for local, join local groups on Facebook and things like that. Next door is great. Um, but just those little things help along the way when you're starting your business. Just know that you don't want to travel a whole lot. Because like I said, when you do get busy, you're kind of running all over the place and you're missing opportunities in your hometown. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we're at the point now where I'm about, I'm, I'm at the end of my third year in business. Um, so we're about to the point where we want to grow and then have different locations so we've stayed pretty busy that way uh, but like i said I, I know i've missed a lot of opportunities here in my home city uh, because i'm i'm down there making a little bit like today for instance we're going to make probably probably about 400 bucks before lunch today but when you go down to san diego it takes me an hour and then the traffic on the way back you know it just it doesn't make sense so uh, we blocked the whole day out for $400 when normally we would make like a thousand. So just a little tip on like what not to do. Um, I would just stay close. You know what I mean? Go knock on doors. That's what I did at, when I started. I knocked on doors. See if you can repair screens. Look into screen repair if you haven't already. Solar panel cleaning is pretty good too. But how I got in was I would go knock on the door. They had a screen that needed to be repaired. I'd repair the screen and talk to them while I was repairing the screen, explain to them the other things that I offered and then got in that way. Uh, the 55 plus communities work really well here in Southern California. Um, so those were the first neighborhoods that I started to hit. Um, but now I'm gonna show you just a couple of the tools. Okay, so these are pretty much the essentials that we use. We have two buckets. Um, we have a whole bin full of towels and squeegee rubbers and things like that. Screen washer is a must. This is our DI tank. Definitely wanna get some magnets for your vehicle. Um, I get a lot of phone calls while we're driving down the road and people see all the stuff that we got They see that we're legit so they call they check out our reviews it just it makes a huge difference especially like I said because you're in the community now it does hurt you in the long run whenever you go uh, to a longer place because those people in that area will be calling you and you're like dang it I need to stay close so you'll run into that uh, pressure washer uh, we don't do heavy-duty pressure washing but we will like wash the outside of a house uh, just to make a few extra bucks um, we actually have our extension cord rolled up on that because I got tired of fighting with it back and forth it's just easier to have it on one of those rollers um, I actually use the same roller for the spline when we do screen repair so um, these three buckets we have here has all our window cleaning gear in it um, I'll, walk, I'll walk through some of that when we get to the job I'm gonna load my truck up now and we have like four or five different ladders um, I really like the little jack, giant ladders with the levelers on them because it just works out better if you're in a weird position. All right, today I want to get into the poles a little bit. Um, we got the Gardner CLX 27. This has been one of my favorite poles. It's very rigid, uh, works very well for water fed pole use. Um, I'm not too impressed with the carbonator, uh, just cheap and cheaply made, poorly made. It starts falling apart. These little buttons get real brittle and the glue is actually coming off and these little sliders come off pretty easily in the heat so it doesn't work here in Southern California very well but our favorite has been the uh, zero trend this has been the go-to so Robert <laughs> all right we'll show you all some more all right the first thing I want to show you is this is the Sorbo lightning the one that just came out with I really like Sorbo as a squeegee channel I didn't really like the handle so I use Unger Ninja it works the best. I've tried several different kinds and none of them work as good. Uh, just because it's the easy release, you can just pull this back and then it releases. You don't have to worry about screws or anything like that. So that's what I like. Of course, the old hip bucket ninja. 
Ninja hip bucket. That's what I like to use the most. All the Ninja gear is pretty good. I just didn't like the Ninja channel as well as the Sorbo. Uh, you got the Mowerman uh, pack. They don't make them like this anymore with the two packs like this. They're actually sideways now, which my helper has. Um, and then we use the Golden Glove. Again, the Ninja. But the, the Ederay Golden Glove holds water the most and works the best. So that's what I recommend. Um, definitely get you a good spray bottle. This makes a world of difference if you're doing a lot of windows. Uh, it's just lighter on your hand to have a good spray bottle. And you can get all these from windows101.com or uh, I use Detroit Sponge as well and uh, Window Cleaning Resource has some too. So I just kind of go to those different places to get what I need. Uh, but that's the main thing. And then to clean the tracks out we use a Dyson V6 Trigger, trigger uh, Origin. But those, that's what we use, and we are going to clean some windows. Okay, I got all my gear ready. I just want to talk about some of the towels that we use. We have a big towel that we keep over our shoulder. This is the uh, Norwex uh, bath towel. It has back lock in it. If you don't know what Norwex is, you definitely want to check that out. I'll post a, a link in the description. Um, and then we have the window cloth that we use for our final touch-up. And these are called window cloths nor by norwex we use the little sponges these uh, can take off hard water glue and stuff like that it has back lock in it these are really good products from norwex and then we have uh, our enviro cloth which uh, takes this actually sanitizes it takes 99 percent of germs off and uh, so you can actually sanitize the window this way with all this covid stuff going on it's a great addition to help clean tracks. It scrubs better than any microfiber I've ever seen. So Norwex is the way to go with your towels. That's what we use. Um, they are the best on the market. Sorry, there's a guy cutting right here. We also use surgical towels. You can get these from like Amazon. And then just regular microfibers. Just as something to dry the window off. So the house we just went into had COVID, so I couldn't walk you through it but uh hopefully we'll be able to walk you through the next one but that's how we pretty much start our day every day and the tools that we like to use and a couple of reviews on some of the poles we like 